Evelyn Joshua and her children, alongside other personalities, have paid their last respects to the founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Squan, Prophet T.B. Joshua, in a tribute service held in his honor on Tuesday, July 6. Evelyn, in her tribute speech, said that her 31 years of marriage to Joshua was not without trials, adding that her husband taught her to understand that trials strengthened the children of God. Thank you for being a good father to the children. Thank you for shielding me from those who are bent on soiling our lives. You were undeterred. It is, however, comforting that you have gone home after service. Sleep on, my beloved. Sleep on, my God's general, the mother of three said. Joshua's first daughter, Mrs. Sarah Joshua Moshi, while paying tribute, said that her father taught her everything she knew about the word of God. He told me that the work of God is beautiful. Indeed, you lived a life of sacrifice to your last moment on earth. I will truly miss your conversations with me. I will truly miss your wisdom, she said. Promise, Joshua's second daughter, said his death was a piece of sad news. He spent each day like it was his last, with most of his time spent at his prayer mountain, focusing on executing an assignment only he seems to be in the know of what the instructions were. Since I became more socially aware and more inquisitive about my dad's life, I realized that the implications of such lifestyle was that once he was done accomplishing what he was sent for, he would be called back home to the one who sent him, she said. Hart also poured econiums on him, describing him as a great man and a loving father. His son-in-law, Mr. Brian Moshi, said that T.B. Joshua lived an exemplary life of service to God and humanity. He added that his father-in-law could do many things at the same time. 